Give it a round of applause, hand clap. For a worker of Jesus, you are. Pastor, we're killing it. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. He's a good God, ain't he? Yes, he is. Amen. I'm glad to be here. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be in the house of God today. Me too. I really am. I enjoyed myself today. Yes. School, everything. I'm just glad to be one of you. I'm not above you. I'm not greater than you, but with you. Growing in the grace and knowledge by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to sing a song here, try to hear I'm going to. There are some things I may not know. There are some places that I cannot go. But there's one thing that I know for sure. My God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Yes, God is real. He's real to my soul. Yes, God is real. For He has washed and made me whole. His love for me is precious as gold. My God is real. For I can feel Him in my soul. Yes, God is real. He's real to my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. His love for me, it's just like pure gold. Oh, my God is real. For I can feel him in my soul. Yes, God is real. He's real to my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. Yes, thank His you. love for me, well, it's better than gold. My God is real. For I can feel him in my soul. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Yes, he is. Love him. That song's on my heart this morning. Just some things that I can't do. Some places I can't go. Some words that I can't say. Amen. Some people I can't be seen with. Amen, right. It's just the true thing. Amen. He's a good God. We love him and we're going to give you what the Lord... Would. We went through a time there. I know me and Brother Larry both did a, just preaching on a word. Yeah. If y'all remember. Yeah. Well, there's a word come to my heart. The Lord went with it, so... In, in our study, so we uh, want you to turn to First Thessalonians chapter five. Verse twelve. Start at verse 12, read 24 on this one. He's a good God. Love the Lord. should be here today. The truth, we got to give our life holy to Jesus. Alright, verse Thessalonians 5 and 12 starts like it says, and, and we beseech you, you brethren, to know them which labor among you, and that are over you in the Lord, and admonish you. It says, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, and be patient toward all men. Be patient toward them. 
But he said he said to warn them that are unruly, didn't he? Yeah. Well, warn them then. You know they're unruly? Warn them. It's that simple, ain't it? It's that simple. But, but gets us every time. <laughs> Donna, yes. but stopped a lot of growth in the house of God yes. and in God's people, but. Yes. God didn't put but there. Uh -uh. He said warn them yeah. that's unruly. Yeah. That's what he said to do. I say help me, Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Right. Comfort the feeble mind. Support the weak. Be patient toward, be pa patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil, and unto any unto any man, but ever following that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men of apostolic men. All, no, all, all, men. all men. Pentecostal men. All, all men. men. People does good for you. Everybody. All men. It's all men. Listen to this. It says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. He says, quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he, he that calleth you who also will do it. Let's pray. Dear most kind, gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you, we appreciate you, and we thank you, Lord, for this very word that you've given us here, Lord, to grow by. We ask you, Lord, to anoint these lips, Lord, and use us today, Lord, for your glory. Lord God, that the church be edified and lifted up, Lord, that we be put where we need to be. Lord, whether it be, Lord, today, Lord, that you correct us, Lord, or whatever it may be, God, give us the... Give us the unction and give us the notice, Lord God, where we're supposed to be in you and this word that you brought to us today. We love you and we appreciate you, Lord, and touch those that's not here, God. We pray, Lord, if they watch by YouTube or whatever, Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, that they're pricked in their heart that they ought to be here, Lord, to eat this word, Lord, for straight from the table, Lord God. We love you and we appreciate you. And we ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. And amen. 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 We thank the Lord today. He's a good God. But in this first Thessalonians 5, we're going to Take and go. We're going to go with verse 22 here. The Bible says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. That's what it says. Amen. Ain't that good? Amen. Ain't that good? It is. Abstain to hold oneself off. That is to refrain. Appearance is every form of evil. He said to abstain from it, didn't he? Yeah. And we was thinking about this, and to abstain from evil, we've got that takes a lot of things out of our life, don't it? Yeah. It does. He asks us to do these things, and, and we need to take this to heart today that it says to hold some, some yourself back to refrain from things. So there are certain things that, that we know in our life that we need to keep ourselves from, that we need not to walk into. But the word that he gave me, the title of the message for Pam's sake, abstain. We need to abstain from all appearance of evil. This is what the Bible's teaching us to do. And in another place, I believe maybe in Proverbs or, or Psalms, which has got everything in it, it tells us not to set no evil thing before our eyes. Yeah. The things that we do today. We need to take and look at our lives and, and take and notice what, do, what have we got in front of us that we need to abstain from, Brother Wayne. We can make excuse for a lot of things and to keep it in our life, Brother Wayne. But when we see the nitty-gritty, I'm talking about getting down to the nitty-gritty. We are. We're getting to the nitty-gritty of this life. Right. And it's coming down to it's time for Jesus or time for the world, whichever way that we're going to be. And it is today. The time that for playing church is over with. That's right. It's over with. We ain't got time to play church. We've got to abstain from all appearances of evil and the things that's corrupt going on out here in this world. And we've got many things that we've taken held and we've held it too long. We've got to be teaching. One thing that we've got today is people, we need to be teaching our children this very thing. Parents need to come out and know the appearances of evil that's in their home, that they allow in their home, the things that they're doing in their home. And we do it, you know, I, I tell the Lord all the time, I say, Lord, this is the messages that they got me positive.
popular in the communities around where I'm at and I don't get to preach very much. But God said preach these That's things. Right. And that, uh, Why? Because we talked this morning about being in the body. And if I don't keep myself up where I'm supposed to be in the body, then somebody's going to miss out. If it hurts the other arm, praise be to God, let them move up to where it needs to be. That's what we need in this hour we're living in. But we need to abstain from all appearances of evil, Brother Wayne. Whatever we bring before I, praise God, I know you said it and I've said it myself. We may have to walk through Walmart sometimes with our heads down. But if we know there's something feeds the eyes, we need to take our mind and get our eyes off of that thing. If we know there's somewhere we're going that's feeding the flesh, we need to tell our feet we ain't going there no more. If there's something we're touching that's helping the lust of this flesh, we need to tell our flesh we ain't a-touching that thing no more. If there's something we're eating that's a causing something in our life and bringing us to where we shouldn't be, we need to say, Bailey, you're not getting that no more. This is just a time that we're living in. We need to get down to the nitty-gritty and know who we are. That's right. TVs and technology I've seen times I know I put it under here I've seen times that all of us has feared to even bring this into the house of God yeah. right. I'm serious Amen. we wouldn't have brought it in here for nothing why because it's a symbol of the world it's something from out there in the world and this in here was a place that we said this should not be we've seen them preach about watches we've seen them preach about all these things that you shouldn't bring them in some people bring water but not pop why? Because caffeine's in pop. Uh -huh. Why? Caffeine's an addictive drug. Yeah. And why? What will they do? We've seen some people chew outside, but they won't chew in the house. We've seen yeah. some people smoke outside, but they won't smoke in this house. Yeah. He said abstain from all appearances of evil. Yeah. People think this is something that we that we just come up with. No, it's the Word of God. Yeah. We need to be working on these things in our life. Yeah. Get them out of our life and be clean before a holy God. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Yes, and before our children and our kids, we give them everything, everything that they ask for. They, and we take and push it on them. This day, you know what? They, they've got to touch it. They've got to feel it. They've got to see it. No, they don't. Right. Brother Wayne, it's our duty to raise them up in the ornamentation yes. of the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. The Bible says train them up in the way that they should go. Not yes. the way that they might go, but the way that they should go. Yes. Now, kids, if you depart, that's your departure. It wasn't daddy and mommy saying depart for a little while. That's your departure. But if what we put in you is what you're going to come back to. If you're going to make it to the great big heaven that God's got for us. Amen. That's what you're going to come back to. Amen. Abstain. Kids, abstain from all appearances of evil. Yes. You've got little friends and you've got little buddies doing things or saying things they should. You stay away from them. Amen. You tell them you can't be around that stuff. Why? God. I don't want you to be comfortable in sin and doing things wrong right. and being unruly to your parents and your grandpas and grandma and the people that you need to take and honor and obey and stand up with. Amen. That's right. Amen. Good preaching. You've got to be this this abstain from all appearances of evil. Yep. It's just a thing it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's Barney Fife, a good old Western, or whatever it is. Abstain from all appearances of evil. Like yeah. You've got they out there at the camper, they play westerns out in the out in the cook shack. Well, I noticed one of the little one just staying in there. Went in there and there it was. On the That's what she's wanting. It's fast and pretty outside. Yeah. Pretty outside. Go play outside. But that thing in that room had her attention. Yeah. Why? Because there's all kinds of filth. Oh, that's just a good old western pasture. No, that is filth. That is filth between she said was set before her eyes. Yeah. And they should not have that before their eyes. Right. Well, you mean Barney Fife's wrong? Yes, Barney Fife's wrong. Yes, Andy Griffith's wrong. It's promoting people sleeping together out of marriage. It's provoking them dating and kissing and all these things that our kids should not be promoted to. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. what it's doing. He said abstain from all appearances of evil. And we've got to do this. This is something we've got to keep our kids from. It is a, you're setting them up for a fall. It's all I hear. Setting them up for a fall. My God, hell is taking them to the highest of the highs. Right. And to the holies of the holies. Amen. Setting them up for a fall, Brother Wayne. Yes, we, my God, we, they don't have to come my route. Right. My route I fell. Amen. My route I chose. But my kids don't have to go my route. I want them to go the way of the cross. The way of Jesus Christ. To sacrifice this flesh now. That you don't have to do it later. That it's already done. That you don't have to fight the battle that daddy and mommy fight. Amen. Amen. Abstain from all appearance of 
evil. Abstain, keep yourself. Set no evil thing before your eyes. Stay away from, yeah. Stay away from that thing. Oh, but I got no, you don't got to. Because I got my work on my phone don't mean I got to go through Facebook or look at the field. Because I got my work on my phone don't mean I have to go through YouTube and watch pornography. Because I got my work on my phone don't mean I have to do these things. Discipline. Our kids ain't got no discipline. But we do. Why? You know what? Donna's got a big place over her. When I was thinking on all this, I just seen them little kids. The farthest they can get from that porch, the more comfortable they are. Mm-hmm. And the more uptight she is, right. they got to get back closer. Constantly hollering, get back over here. Get back over here. Get back over here. Right. That's the way of the church folk today. Yeah. That's the way of the church folk today. Constantly the preachers and God's hollering, get back over here. To the outskirts. They want to the outskirts of the limit that they can be. Here I was went by a place yesterday. There's a car slam that's breaking went around this basketball. Here this guy had acres. But that kid was playing beside the road. Yeah. Yeah. Playing beside the road and he come right back to me. See? Everybody wants to the outskirts almost out. Almost out. We're getting to a time we better get in the center of God, have him in the center of our will and his will, and be who we're supposed to be. Amen. Everybody wants to live just close to the world as we can get. Bless him. Not be separate. Not be different. Because we can't handle what they're saying about us. It don't matter what they're saying about us. What's God saying? I'm tired of making God cry. I'm tired of him getting down crying over me. I want to be who he asked me to be. I want to be the preacher that he asked me to be. The pastor that he asked me to be. Tired of making him cry. My God, he just said abstain. Abstain from what the flesh loves. Loves. That's got it bound. Pork chop can have you bound. It can. Same as that 9 o'clock episode can have you bound. Or getting on your phone every morning and clicking. There's a boy hit me at Geno's the other day about his phone. He laid his iPhone down. He said it was a hindrance in my life. God showed me. It was the first thing I did in the morning. It was the thing I was doing through the day. When I'd go to read something, pop up and catch my attention, he said I had to lay it down. You know what he went back to? The old paperback. He went back to the old paperback. He went back to the book that he was carrying every day to church. And well, glory. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Amen. It's good. But now everybody's moving to this. They've got the iPads, the iPod, whatever else, and they stop plum carrying this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They won't even need it anymore. That, I'm, this is a carnal statement, but take it right. This is temporal. Yeah. That's right. When that power goes off, right. you might as well just throw that away. That's yes, right. Amen. Why? I can go back to my paper. Yeah. Right. I can go back. This right here is eternal. This is right here is what you're going to have left. It really is. Why? My God, that's like going down the road and getting a harlot when you got a wife at the house. Come on. Yeah, glory. One's yeah. just temporal. One's going to cost you. But you got one that loves you and one to keep you and take care of you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's good. Harlot. Yeah. Husband. Yeah. Harlot. Come on. Husband. Harlot. Yeah. Husband. Yeah. What do we want? Harlot. Husband, right. Harlan, husband, Harlan, husband. We've got to abstain from all the parents of the evil. Yes. Thank right. you, Lord Amen. Jesus, my God. Thank you, Jesus. That's what it's going to take. Yes, it is. Yeah. Coming down and saying, I want Jesus. Amen. Seeing what's taking our time from God. Seeing what's Amen. taking us from Him. Amen. And abstaining. I don't care if it's the 6 o'clock news, Brother Wayne. Amen. We can get into a fix and we got to have that. Right. we got to know what's going on. we got to know the weather tomorrow. we got to know what's going on. We can get our hearts tore plumb up Amen. over what's going on over in Afghanistan and over in Kuwait and over there in Russia and all these places. We can get it tore up. Yeah. And God said, I'm your king. Amen. I'm your king. Amen. If we'd spend as much time getting into God as we do getting into other things, we could have, my God, we'd be floating all the time. Amen. 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 
Why can't we float? Because we're weighted down. Right. That's right. If we'd abstain, we'd kick some stuff off. Yes. Yeah. We'd lay aside every weight and these sins that's what he's living with Yes. Why? Because we'd understand the things that we're getting into we need to abstain from. Yes. Things our hands is getting into we need to abstain from. Yes. It's the truth. I had a problem just listen. I had a problem just like yours. I get down to pray and everything that I had to do went through my head. Yeah. Everything I had to do and everything that I had to do. Amen. You know what you do? You'll get sick of it. Amen. You'll get sick of it. Amen. You'll get sick of it. I got sick of it. Amen. I got down serious with God. I said, God, I know you're able. If I got three minutes to think about a job at work, you can give me the knowledge and the wisdom to take care of that job if I thought on in a week. Amen. He can do that. Amen. And that's what he can do. And everything's been taken care of ever since then. Yeah, have I had to rebuke it from times? Yes, I have. I've rebuked it and got right back in the Holy Ghost praying. But I'm telling you, it has gone from me the way it was. It has. I'm telling you, it would bombard my mind. Yep. Yes. I have to do for this. I got to do for that. And I do for this. Do that. No, sir. He'll take you. He'll give me the knowledge right then. Amen. Right then. And just a little bit of what I need to do. And it can take it happen. That's the big God I serve. Amen. Why? Because every fiber of this old boy right here, he, he created this old boy. He made me who I am today, and that's who I am. And you can do whatever. Listen today. We've got to get serious, serious with God. Amen. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain. But I ain't going to apologize for this either. I ain't apologizing for it. Yeah. What are they call him preachers? Apologist? Not an apologist. That's right, amen. Whatever it means. I might be and don't even know. I don't know. But I'm not an apologist. That's right. I don't preach for an hour and apologize for two hours. That's right. We've got the Bible said abstain from all appearances of evil. You can get technical with me if you want to and, and sit down and have a study and say all this and all that too if you want to. But I'm looking at my life. Are you looking at your life? I'm looking at my life and I'm going to get abstaining from all appearance of evil. It surely is. You want to go right on down to the beach, you go right on. But I'm not setting that thing before my eyes. I ain't doing that thing. You want to go to Camden Park if you want to. I ain't setting that thing before my eyes. You want to go to ball games, go right ahead. But I'm not getting in that mess either. I ain't getting my heart ready. You want something, you want to set somebody up for a fall, you tell them to follow the world and they're going to fall. But any time you're telling these babies to follow Jesus and you tell me I'm setting them up for a fall, you are dead wrong. Amen. Dead wrong. The stricter we get in this word, the world. Yeah, churches, the world Amen. tells us we're setting them up for a fall. Come on. You know what I get? I get people when I talk in the community, they say, I'm wearing this because this. Why? Because they see my wife down at Dollar General all the time. And they know how I believe by them right there. Yes, they do. Them three right yes, there. Sure Why? Because that right there is my glory. Amen. That's my glory, Brother Amen. Wayne. Right. They know what we believe up here. I'm not taking up for Hamlet and Greek no more. Amen. That it's all, uh, praise be to God. It's always me. You've got to wear a dress to go up there. If you've got a dress, wear it. Amen. Right. It's the truth. If you ain't, come anyhow. Amen. But if you already know in your heart you should be wearing a dress, you need to be wearing it anyway. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. I've had lost people say, well, I ain't got a dress. I can go, well, you can come. That's right. Come right on. Right. You'll find a dress later. Uh -huh. yeah. You really will. But I don't want you to think that that ain't the right way. We live the right way. And that's why we live it. It's because it's the right way. We need to stop patting people and tell them it's all right. You'll get that. We can get them there a whole lot quicker if we just take and tell them and live it before them strictly, Amen. strictly, yeah. strictly. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I tried. Why can't we go places? Amen. Why can't abstain? Yeah. Abstain. From all appearances of evil. Yes. I can't go down to race track no more. Amen. I try. Yeah. Can't go down to race track. No. Nope. Not even a watch, Wayne. Nope. Son, nope. nothing nope. I love any better than the smell of rubber and race fuel. I'm saying right. Oh, I love it, man. It smells so good. <laughs> it did. I'm telling you, there's sometimes you get this. Oh, yeah. There's sometimes I get to smell it and not even be around it at all. Yep. Yep. Well, Oh, Satan puts a puff before me. Oh, yeah, he does. That's you exactly want, what he does. You, you think you're going to live a Christian life and not be tempted? You're going to be tempted. Yep, that's you right. You're going to be tempted. That's right. Why? Of what? The things that you loved that's back right. in the world. That's the things right. that you loved, well, that's just something simple. No, it wasn't. It was an addiction for me. I would forget about my house payment to make sure a car went down that track. Amen. It didn't matter what happened. Right. I was mean, just like an alcoholic on alcohol yep. or a crackhead on crack. Yep. Maybe either way, I wanted to see that thing go down the track. I wanted to buy the part. For it and see it go. Amen. Abstain yes. from all appearances of evil. Yeah. Amen. 
Then now I see as a Christian what else laid behind it. All the gambling. Mm -hmm. Same with ball games. All the gambling and the things. And right now, and even at, at this boy telling me the other day even more. And God already talking to me about sports. How evil it is and the things that it shouldn't be in. Of how even more that he's been shown. And he ain't even in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, faith. But he's already been showed more about sports. Just hearing a little bit of how much wrong, more wrong they are now than ever. Right now in the time we're living, just by the names of the players. And where the position that the player's in has got the biblical names in the Bible. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. He's explaining them there to me. I can't remember it all. I'm going to start recording people. I just can't ever record you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I can go back. Right. So I can go back right. and grab at it and study on it more. Yeah. Church, we got to abstain from That's all right. the <coughs> we want, we, If we want to live hard, do what you want to do. That's right. If you want to live a hard Christian life, do what you want to do. That's right. <coughs> Talked to a woman the other day. She told me about her praying. I said, well, have you been born again? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've been born again. Cuss. Cuss. Stand there half naked. I'm telling you. She even called herself the B word. A female dog. <laughs> even called herself that. Oh, yes, I'm born again. Mm -mm. I've done this and I've done that. I'm good to this one. I'm good to that. I take care of my kids. Good to my husband. I'm born again. That's what we're dealing with. Yes, That's right. sir. Yes, sir. That's what we're dealing with. They're deceived. They're believing a lie and being damned. Of why? Of what's coming out of the whore. That's right. Uh, what's coming out of the whore. What comes out of the whore? Little harlots. That's right. And what's little harlots? Denominations. That's a teaching people. It, it was the, I was thinking about this. Wayne said he was raised in holiness. Yeah. So it's all right. When Wayne come to this, he already had the outside part right. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That was easy for you, wasn't it? I know what to do here. Right. Yeah. See, it was the opposite for me. Right. See, I was trained, God don't look upon yeah. nothing but the heart. The heart, yeah. yes. Yeah. So here I was working on the heart all the time. Yeah. And then for me to come to see the outward appearance, it was hard. Why? Because it was something that it was just something that wasn't taught. Wasn't taught to us. We didn't know. Right. Yeah. And then what did I have to do? I had to grow and grow. And then Wayne, he probably had things in his heart he had to deal with. Right. Yeah. Right. That I that here I overcome them easy because that's the yeah. things I was working on. Right. That was what was preached to me. And that's what I was working on. You can come to church in your shorts and your your tank tops and your your whatever and go to the beach and just dress naked, go to the pools, just lay around, go to the theaters. Don't be going to the theaters. Sin. Sin's in that place. That's right. Amen. And then, and then here, we both, but what are we doing? We're both getting to the same place. That's right. Amen. But we had two different places to get, but it's all going to the same place. I understand start. that. I understand. Start. I understand somebody in a denomination can't get to Jesus' name. Right. Yeah. I understand that they can get to holiness, rock yes. hard holiness, yes. just the same as I have. Amen. They can do that way, but it's going to take a heart. It's going to take yeah. a heart. And it's going to take abstaining themselves from evil. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's going to take abstaining them. Why? What does it do? It comforts you. Yes. It does. There can be three of us agree on one thing. And we'll, oh, they can be three of us wanting a TV so bad in our house that we could get together and three of us, and we can get that, and 50 others in the church saying no, but you three agreeing will stay right together on. Yep. You yep. will. Another accompanies you will comfort you yep. in sin. Right. They will. They'll comfort you in that. Yep. Well, it's all right. You, you'll just come. You'll get together. You'll find scriptures. Yep. You'll come up with every thought, everything. Just you that. really will. Pastor Wilkerson, buddy, he went through a hunt in his church, I heard in a message, for these little pod groups <laughs> saying it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. He did. He went on a hunt, mm -hmm. fishing them out, Holy Ghost fishing these little groups out. Why? You know what it'll do? It says a little leaven will leaven the whole lump. That's what it'll do. You're watching two and a half men tonight, it's going to take your whole family to hell. You tie up serious tonight. You're watching Will and Grace, that's going to take your whole family. You know what they said Will and Grace done? It opened the whole United States up to a different meaning of homosexuality. To us, to bring it in easier. Bless 
him, Lord. Gag him in the hat and swallow our camel. Yeah. We look at these things and we'll fight so hard against one thing. But then another thing just brings it a different way and we'll accept it. The same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The same stuff. Right. We won't go to bars. We won't go to them. We won't go to these clubs. We won't go to for what's all in it. But we'll take a set of things before of us. Yeah. But I ain't watching that. You ain't telling me you're stopping every commercial. That's right. Yep. Can't stop. You're not doing that. That's right. You're sitting watching that nasty garbage. Yeah. I'm serious. It's yeah. coming up. You can't stop it. Yep. It's coming up. It's coming up. And here, what do you got? You're setting up before you. You're doing it. Not the devil. Not the devil. The devil just presented you with it. That's right. And you grabbed a hold of it. That's all the devil can do to you. He can't do nothing else. He can't force you to do nothing. He has no power over God's children. None whatsoever has he got over God's children. You say the devil made me do it? Bull. He can't make you do it if you're God's child. The devil kept me from doing this. The devil kept me from doing that. The devil made me go here. The devil made me hit them. No. They ain't no such thing as losing my religion. You can't lose this. Bless him, Lord. You can walk out of it. Huh? You can stop following him. And if it's that quick for you to hit somebody or cheat on your wife or go down here and steal something at the store or steal from something for your neighbor or talk about your neighbor, you've already premeditated on it anyway and you've already lost that long. Yeah. I can't help but say amen to that. Because amen. it's, why? Because I'm going by what's in me. Yeah. It's supposed to be the same thing in you. That's right. Yeah. And I just can't see it being so easy for you to walk over and me not. But we've put people on ladders in different places. Yeah. And we've allowed people that's low on the totem pole to sin. Yeah. And it's all right. That's what we've allowed. Amen. We've said it's all right. Why, well, they're just lower. They're going to mess up more. Get them into some strict preaching they want. Get them into a place where they have some conviction in their heart and they want. Tell them the truth. Tell them what they need to know and they want. Yeah. I wish somebody had been straight up with me. Yes. I'm serious. I wish somebody had been, they was pretty much. When I come into this, buddy, there's a bunch of them that's hardcore that I got to hear preach. Got to hear preach, and I thank God for them. Why? Because just like you said about the sincere meal, if you got an open heart, you're going to come back to church Sunday. You're going to come back to church Wednesday. If you want to get closer to God, you're going to fish this thing out. You're going to find out what's right and what's wrong, and you're going to fix it in your life. Abstain from all appearances of evil. We ain't got no place in our life for some of this stuff we've allowed in our life. Yeah. We really have. I know we got cars. I know we got homes. I know we got this. And I know we got that. But we don't have to defile it with the world. That's right. We don't have to defile it with the world. Amen. We don't have to. Right. There's things that we allow that we should not allow. That's right. It's the truth. It is. And it's on us. Yeah. It's on us. My children's on me. <laughs> I told somebody the other day, I said, listen, they ain't doing it on my watch. I don't care how much you think that they ought to touch it. Yeah. They're not doing it on my watch. Amen. I don't think. I don't think. Listen, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think they should be doing the things that they're doing. People's allowing their kids to do things they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. All oh, then when the fall comes, it's so awful. It's so awful. You was the one set them up. Amen. You was the one set them up. Yep. What we allow them to do. It's on us. It is. It's the truth. We've got kids that's running over parents, telling them what to do, wiring the most ungodly thing. The parents won't work, but they allow the children to do it. And they say they can't do nothing to them about it. Bull. Bull. I thank God for my kids. People say, well, your kids probably just lying to you. If they're lying to me every day, I thank God for them. Because they're at least being obedient what time they're at home. That's right. yeah. They're at least being obedient out here what time they're under my roof. That's, your responsibility. That's the truth. But their hearts, they're responsible for. Amen. That they're going to have to take care of after they're out from under my roof. I'll shield them that long and stop them from doing anything that long. I can't go everywhere with them. That's right. Oh, yes, I can. It was with me. It was with me. 
We're imparting something to them that's going to stay with them. Brother Wayne, we're imparting something to these babies that's going to stay with them. And when they do wrong, it's going to rebuke them. No matter how much, listen, it's the truth that happened for me. It did. No matter how wrong I was out there in that world, it was hollering at me, you shouldn't be doing this. You know better. You shouldn't be doing these things. It's the truth. I love the Lord. He's a good God. Go to 1 Peter chapter 2. If you want, just listen if you want to. Just sometimes it's easier to listen. I'm reading straight out of the book. It's chapter, 1 Peter chapter 2 says, Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and all hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. It's 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 through 12. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so, be ye if so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. It says, To whom coming, as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. My God. I'm disallowed of men. I ain't wanted by men. But of God, I'm precious. I'm a chosen man. Listen, we're going. It says, Wherefore also it is contained in the Scriptures, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, Elect, precious, and he he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be a disobedient, the stone which the builders dis uh, disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. This new modern church is going to get tired of that scripture. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, oh, yeah. the people in the faith that we're in right now, the people that we they say are us, they're going to get tired of this scripture and they're going to start telling you that was the, for the Jews only. You watch, they're getting sick of this. There's some people getting puked now at the preaching that they've done for years. Yeah. Why? Because they say it's running people off. It's not doing them a bit of good. And you can't get them into the house of God because of your standards. Oh, the truth. This is the truth. And here's one of the scriptures that I'm telling you. Which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Amen. You're sitting right there. And there's a war you're allowing to go on in your soul. By watching that thing, looking at that thing, yes. tasting of that thing, yes. feeling of that thing, walking toward that thing, you started a war. Yeah. You're allowing that war in your heart. When we know it's wrong, let's go ahead and get faced up with it. Let's get rid of it. Amen. Let's get it out. Get it out. Why? So we can live free. He said, Him the Son made free is free indeed. The Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. And if you already know something's wrong in your life and you're doing it, you're a transgressor. Against the truth that you know. Amen. Bless Quit Lord. transgressing. This is not the way it is. God asked for a pure people. A peculiar people. He called us out. We're a holy nation. We're separated from this world. We're not of this world. I, believe, I still believe in separation with all my heart. The farther we get separated from this world... The more power we're going to have with God, the happier people we're going to be. It's the truth. Amen. And less likely for things to happen to us that happen to other people. It's the truth. I believe that. I believe that. A walk with God. What makes you have, feel good? Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is what makes you feel good. It does. I know these kids, when they do right for daddy and mommy, I know they feel good about it. They feel good. And when we do right for God, we feel good. We are happier than we are. But as soon as we fall, what are we? We're sad. Yep. We're praying. We're begging. We're pleading. Yeah. And we are the one chose to fall. Yeah. I know sometimes we're tempted. 
I know sometimes we mess up, but most times we walk in the things. Yeah. No, why? Well, I think there's a new exception. Mm-hmm. Thinking there's a new exception, and there's not. Paul didn't change nothing. Peter didn't change nothing. Amen. They held to what the Word of God said. They held to what Jesus said. Amen. And we got to take care of it in our life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll be here next Sunday Amen. if you love God. You'll be there at the point in time when church is over. Amen. Yeah. To why? Because I'm going to grow in this. Yes. Whether you've got rid... Listen, people that are sincere with God, they will come no matter what's in their life, Brother Wayne, and they got a good, clean heart. They want, they're want. they asking for God. They'll come until they get done. You know what people do? They quit going and then try to quit. Well, I'm not accepted there because I do this. That ain't what I'm saying. That's right. That ain't what it is. Yeah. You're accepted. Listen, you're accepted. If God said you need to be saved and you brought you to a... a prayer of repentance and it brought you to where you need to be then you know what God's waiting on repent mm-hmm. you to repent to do what you said you was going to do Amen. repent right. become that new man in Christ Jesus old things be passed away behold all things come new it is he's waiting on you he's wanting you today there's things happen spiritual and then there's things happen flesh this flesh listen it's all he said in your body and your spirit listen we can live clean and live holy he didn't listen he didn't bring us and uncleanness. He brought us into holiness. He brought us where we're supposed to be in God. Having our conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that they may, listen, by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. By what? Your good works. By your good works. By the way you dress, where you go, how you talk, how you conduct your whole life. Mm-hmm. It's going to be. How you treat people. It's all there. We've got to abstain. Mm-hmm. We've got to keep our stuff abstained from these things. Three and ten. It's right over. Three and ten. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil. And his lips that they speak no good. He that do what? That will love life and see good days. Refrain. Let him refrain. That's abstain. Mm-hmm. Refrain and abstain is the same thing. Yeah. His tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no good. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. It says, for the, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are what? open unto their prayers but the face of the Lord is what against them that do evil you hear that kids he's against them that do evil you hear that he's against them who's his ear open to who's his face towards the righteous those that's doing righteousness listen I just right here in Isaiah I'm going to go to Isaiah now here in Isaiah. I just got a little summary up here I'm going to read that I wrote to him. But he's, he's, he, was, he was coming to Judah, talking to Judah about this, his children of Israel, his, the people of God. He says they provoked God to anger. They rebelled against God. If you go down through these scriptures, you can find what I'm talking about. He called them a sinful nation, what God called them. They forsaken the Lord. They were still sacrificing unto him and living in sin. This is how we preach. Can't live like the devil Monday through Saturday and expect a blessing on Sunday at church. It's unacceptable. That's why we... Where do you all get this stuff? It's in the Old Testament. What the children of Israel done in the thing. You can't be sacrificed. You know what that's doing? That's bringing sacrifice, killing them, Brother Wayne, just every day, every time, keeping the feast, keeping all the things that God told them to keep. And still doing whatever they wanted to at home. Still doing whatever they wanted to down Walmart. Still doing whatever they wanted to wherever they was at. That's what they was doing. It become a stink in God's nostrils. The only things that he told them to do, they caused it to be a stink. And that's the way the assemblies of God's getting today. It's the truth. They're coming to church. It ain't nothing but a social meeting. No deliverance. No preaching to help nobody. Nothing to draw nobody out. Nothing to keep nobody out. Nothing to hold people from sin. Nothing. Just, I want you to feel good. 
I want you to feel good about your life. I don't want you getting in a state of depression. Yeah. God's got depression. Yeah. He can handle your depression. Yes, he, can. he needs your heart. Yeah. And then your depression will be gone. Amen. Yeah. My God. You know, I never did understand what anxiety was. Never did it. Never did think that I experienced it. But I believe I have. There have been times they have. But I didn't know nothing but say Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. In these times that I guess from what I understand, ain't it like a time that you just don't know what to do and you're you just I don't know, a, a time of excitement, but a, a rage in your mind and body. And I've heard people say they could, felt like they could run through a wall when they get like this. But, I've, I've, but at times that I felt like it, even though I didn't even know what anxiety was, I felt myself calling on Jesus. And now that I know there's a pill for it, I still don't take it. I go to Jesus. I still go to Jesus. Now that I know the explanation, the, it's been explained to me about what anxiety is. I still don't look toward the doctors. Amen. I still go to Jesus. Amen. I know what depression is. I see that all over the place. Yeah. All over the place. Basically, that boy I work with, he says he's deleted all kinds of people just because they're so depressed they can't stop themselves from putting it on there. And he said it just makes you feel so bad reading it. Mm -hmm. He said he just has to get rid of it. Get rid of it. All whoever it is. Depression. Mm -hmm. All over Facebook. Man, that's a place I want to go, ain't it? Huh? Ain't that a place you want to go and read about every day? The depression of people. Oh, but I'm just telling people what I'm going through so they'll pray for me. Yeah, but you got half the people joining in your pity party. Then they start telling you their depression. Then you got a book full of depression and everybody's face in it. It's the truth. It's on there. And I like how they put, when I used to have it, I like how they put things on there. But, but I didn't intend it for that person. But they took it for that. And in their hearts, you just heard them talking about them the day before, and here they put it on there. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah, you use it for your own destruction. Yeah. And the things that you do, it's the truth. Yeah. But we accept it. Oh, it's accepted. I don't see how it's accepted. If the church can't go to the bars, I don't see how they accept Facebook. Seriously. If they can't go to the honky tonks, if they can't go down, I don't see how they're accepting some of the things they're accepting today. I really don't. I really don't. Because there's some all of that's in that. All of that's in that. But they think because it's coming through some kind of electronic that it don't affect them. It affects them, buddy. It affects them. And I'll say it again. It affects the preachers. Amen. It affects the people in the crowd because they put so much on there. The preachers see it. Then when they do get to preach on something that God give them, instead of Facebook give them, right. he's just seen it on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it is a downfall right. for the church. It ain't. I know there's advertisement on I know you can put your revivals on I know you can put where you're going to preach on I know where you can put it. How did they do it back then without it? That's right. Right. How did they do it back then without it? Word of mouth. We got ways to keep stuff that we don't need because we want it. Yep. That's what it is. We want it. Yep. It's why we don't get rid of it. Right. We love the way it makes us feel, the way it makes us do. We love it. Because right. it be. it's feeding the flesh. Mm -hmm. It's feeding the flesh. I love the Lord. 11 through 19. To what purpose? Is the multitude of your say, here's God. To what purpose is the multitude, or Isaiah speaking for God, is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord. I am full of the burnt offerings of rams, and the fat and the fat burned offerings of rams, and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bulls, or the lambs, or of goats. But when you come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand, to tread my courts, bring no more vain oblations, Incense in the abomination unto me, the new moons and the Sabbath, the calling assemblies, and I cannot. It says I cannot away with it. Is it? It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting, your new moons and your appointed feasts. My soul hateth that they are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. 
Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear your hands are full. I will not hear your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. How is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. The silvers become dross. The wine is mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone that loveth gifts and follow after rewards, they judge not. The fatherless, neither do they cause of them widow, because come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. And I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy ten. And I will restore thy judges at, at the first and thy counselors at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of the righteous, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness. And the destruction of the transgressor and of the sinner shall be together. For they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which ye have desired. And ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen. For ye shall be of an oak whose leaf fadeth as the garden that hath no water. And the strong shall be as the toe, and the maker of it as the spark, and they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them. My God, we chose our own path. God's came. You can read Isaiah 53 and go right along with that. We've despised Him. We've rejected Him. We've went in our own ways and left God, left Him behind you know what God is now to us? Just to, just to give us a little bit of a, just a, a lift up every now and then. We don't want him in control of our life. We don't want him first in our life. We just want his, we just want his advice every now and then. When times get hard. Shame on. Shame on. Shame, I can't, I, Butch one time I seen him. He was reverting himself to what he was reading and what he was preaching. He's, he quit. I noticed him that night. He quit because he wasn't doing it. He wasn't doing it. What he was preaching on, what he was doing. He's starting out as we and us, but he stopped that. I, I, know, I don't know if anybody else ever knows, but it was at Meads one night. We was over there, and he stopped. And I understand why some of you don't shake your head and may say amen because you're not in that either. But I'm just saying today, the church, listen, they're trying every way in the world to hold on to the world as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on to the world as much as possible. Oh no, preacher, we're trying to get it out. No, what, what concord have Christ with Baal? Yep. What does the temple of God have with idols? Yes. What have these things? We are children of the Most High God. We've been bought with a price. We're not ourselves. It don't matter what anybody else says. It matters what God says. It matters what the Word says. And we must come to him. Church, if you get anything out of this, abstain. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain. Keep these things. Keep your body under subjection of the Spirit of God. Get things out of your body that's taken over your flesh. Get it, get it away from that. Get it away from that. If you've got a problem with that phone, throw it. If you've got a problem with that TV, get rid of it. Oh, but you're going to go through the thing. I'm telling you, you're going to justify it every which way. Preacher's wrong. Preacher's wrong. I, I, I've got this. I've handled it. But I, want, I hope to God that I, today I'm speaking it from heaven. I hope the Spirit of God falls on you watching that stuff. I'm telling you and show you every ungodly evil that's coming before your eyes. Yeah. I'm praying it today upon every one of us. That everything that comes in them commercials, everything that comes before your eyes, that it pops out, that it illuminates, that it makes, and you see it and you say,
say, oh my God, I'm watching this. Every time he comes through there, oh my God, I'm watching this. Oh my God, what's it doing to me? Oh my God. I want to, I'm telling you, I'm afraid. I want them to see it. I want them to see it. I want you to see it. What it is. You're scrolling through that book face and Facebook stuff, and you're seeing all this other stuff to get to your family, to get to what they said, you're seeing it. It's before your eyes. I pray it illuminates. And that you see it and it and it you see the wrong in it. I'm praying that today. I really am. I'm praying that you see what it does to your heart when you read it. If you're reading love novels, Lord God, I bring it down on them today, Jesus. Bring it down on them today. If you're reading that old thing and it goes into this nasty, I tell God, bring it out. Highlight it for them, Jesus. Highlight it for them. That's not of me. That's not my word. I told you to abstain from this. I'm, we don't preach for nothing. God didn't give me the word abstain for nothing. Amen. It's for somebody. Y'all say, well, a lot of people can watch this on YouTube. Really going to help a lot of people. <laughs> I tell you, we won't take it for ourselves. That's right. right. Better, we better take it for ourselves. Amen. Because why? When God said abstain to me, you know what I done? I looked at me. Yes. Me. Yes. Quit getting in your place and saying, them is what this is for. That's what's wrong with preachers today. I give them, turn them up with it. What about you? Right. How can you tell your brother how to get the boat out of his eye when you've got a beam in your eye? Right. How can you tell these things? We've got to examine each and every one of us ourselves. Right. Ourselves. I love the Lord, church. He's a good God. Amen. But I'm, listen, much, we've got to abstain ourselves. Get, keep ourselves from these things. It is. I just give you some examples. Get mad if you want to. I just give you some examples. It's yeah. true. Because some people don't get a hold on it until you tell them plain. Right. That's right. Yeah. You've got to tell people plain. It yeah. seems like we're living in a more day now that we need to tell people plain. Amen. Because it seems like I don't care how you go round and about. They don't get the hint. Yeah. We put up signs when we're doing work on the road. Yeah. Sometimes two, three, back. They don't get it until they see the flag. Mark. You still, ah! what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you see the signs? Listen, I'm a sign. Try to so you arr, so you ain't got that effect in your life. Right. You can get this stuff out, keep it out, stomp it out, stop it. It's the truth. Amen. Amen. I've run them my signs myself. Yes. But Lord God, I love the Lord. But it's the truth. Thanks. Just people, now, people just don't. You know why? And right here is most of the reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see your sign. That's on my phone. It's a marriage view. It's important phone calls, texting. That's what they do. That's most of the time what you see is in their hand. That's right. I've people come out nine miles now like that. Nine miles. One lane road. Yeah, one lane road and the two lane road ain't much more than one lane road. Yeah. Right on the edge. Right on the edge. Yeah. Everybody will stay right on the edge. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. We got to abstain. Got to abstain. Yeah, there's things I'm working on just like everybody else. Yes. And I thank God for his message. I thank what he's done to me through the study of the message. Amen. Because it hurt it helps my heart. Hurts my feelings and helps my heart. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Hurt my feelings, Lord, but help my heart. Yeah. That's what we need yeah. today. We need it. Hurt feelings don't mean nothing. No. How remorseful you was and how much you thought you, oh, God, but I meant this. It ain't going to matter on that day. Right. Yeah. You can stand there and give him all kinds of pleas. But he said, what did you do with my son? What did you do with my son? Yes. And that's what's going to matter. He's a good God, church. He's given us all the time, the grace and the mercy that we need. And we can take it half. <laughs> Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Amen. Fear the Lord and depart from Amen. evil. That's what we need to do. We can enjoy a lot of good things in this life right here. And we don't need no evil mixed in with us. Amen. You know, I didn't think I could ever have a good time on Friday nights without some of that junk I had. But I found out I can. Amen. I can have a good time. Amen. In Jesus. <laughs> 
Why? Because the Lord's got everything we need yes, in does. this kingdom. He does. He's got it all. I, if I want to get high, I can get high in Jesus. Amen. I can't. Right. I've got drunk on the Holy Ghost. Amen. Man, I'm telling you, get high. He squeezed me over Sister Rachel's Friday night. Oh my gosh. He squeezed me, Brother Wayne. He did. I, I don't he never wrung me out though. I still cry. <laughs> but he squeezed me and I love that. I wouldn't trade that for nothing. He just squeezed me. Oh, how long. It's been a while. How long have it embraced me? He did. It just it made me do this to myself. I just I just it's like he's that close. He's right there. You can't see much right there, but he's in there. He just embraced me. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. He's a good God. He's a good God, church. But he'll do it. But we need to live good and live right and live holy, don't we? Amen. He's a good God. I love you. Give him a hand clap and I'm done.